To say you gotta know somebody Or know somebody To get somewhere these days To say you know that's alright Yeah, that's alright Cause you know that's alright with me Yeah, you know that's alright Yeah, that's alright Cause you know that's alright Jeremy and Phil, I'm just looking forward to uh, meeting some new people tonight. And my name is Terry Kim And I've been in real estate for seven years I make you feel at Hi, I'm Rick Perez. I've been involved in real estate for about the last four and a half years. I own a couple of properties. And uh, I'm here to learn a little bit more and add to the experience. I can also mention a big back in September, I believe, I was here at the last meeting. I like what I heard and uh, I agree with you. I think commercial is probably not uh, at the level where it was two or three years ago. Continue to stay a little bit behind real estate, uh, residential rather than residential trust. Mm -hmm. You can get a few tips on the residential side of network and learn a little bit more about your process. Mm -hmm. My name is Frank McFadden. I uh, read Phil's book. Phil's a <coughs> friend of mine and just here to uh, check things out and learn a little bit. Go for Pella I don't know, but you said that. You know, say digital styling. You labeled that yourself. Bill Johnson, I'm a wholesaler. Sure. Uh, my name is Nick. Um, I, uh, I mean, we're in the same office with uh, Phil, RPA Realty. I was, uh, I was out of the uh, picture for about a year. I went in the food business. I just got out and I own uh, several uh, properties, multifamily, apartment buildings, and I'm just looking to get re-motivated and back into the swing of things. And basically, yeah.
Can you treat? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, um, I really don't own anything. A couple, about 10 years ago, I owned a couple pieces of properties. I flipped them from 2000 to 2010. I created a company that was 8500. I did very well in that business and I sold my shares. So now I got, you know, I took out all my equity. I was equity rich, cash poor. So I did very well. So now I'm going to put all my money into real estate, probably some of it. So. Hey, Donna, um, um, I have a duplex in the Parkwood area of Philadelphia. And um, I recently got my real estate license. Um, I just, I'm in the middle of doing my second flip and uh, need some help in networking with that. So. Dave? No. Hi, my name is David Tran. I'm uh, known for uh, cheap, cheap real estate.com. Coming soon. I'm um, <laughs> here with uh, Jeremy and Phil. And uh, does anybody not have a name tag? That means everybody paid. That's a good thing. All right, so um, <laughs> <laughs> just, just just that's true. That, that's true. You know, I just uh, basically I'm a real estate agent. I'm an investor, and I help people find cheap, cheap real estate in, in Philadelphia area. All right, enjoy yourself tonight, everybody. Neil, I'm a newbie and looking to get into the game, basically. Okay, well, thanks for going around the room. Uh, How about you? We need to hear from you. Who are you? Hey guys, I'm Jeremy Ricci. I'm uh. Yeah, I used to be a, I'm a technology geek, used to be in IT quite a bit, and uh, now I use my technology in real estate and uh, love doing deals. I'm a tech, real estate technician too, or transaction engineer, I like to call it. I, I like doing screwy deals, different deals. I'm not a low ball cash buyer kind of guy. Um, I do, uh, you name it, I've done it. I've taken over people's loans that are dead. We've done states and bought out of bankruptcy court and sh share sales. And Stole houses from the guy that bought it at share of sale. More on that later. <laughs> <laughs> Buy it from share of sale, redeem it later. So I've done all sorts of, you know, I like creative deal acquisitions. That's my main thing. So, um, you know, Phil and I are uh, really excited and, and, and motivated to uh, enter into these next couple of years with just what we see as just uh, more than low hanging fruit, as Phil says. I mean, there's, you, you have to hold your baskets out. There's houses falling off the trees that you can just catch. You don't even have to. You don't have to reach up and grab them. There's so much stuff out there right now. And uh, we want to motivate you guys to get involved and start buying. And if you're sitting on the fence, now it's time to get off the fence and really get into the market. And there's a million ways to do it. We'll go over at least 100,000 of those now. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, I'm excited to, to see all you guys here. I think uh, this is something that you might do on an ongoing basis. And depending on your feedback or what you want out of it, uh, many of you heard about DIG. A lot of people say I'm a DIG member. Uh, Phil, Phil and I both are members of DIG. I was on the board for DIG for many years. If you're not a member, it's a wonderful group. This, this, uh, it's, DIG is a, mostly a, a real estate education group, and they bring in speakers and whatnot. Um, so we really, you know, we really didn't have the intent of bringing in speakers, although it might trans, you know, transpire to do that at one point. Um, I think uh, really this is about networking and. and a lot of what I'd like to see people do is, you know, get together and do deals together. Of course, we're not, you know, we're not endorsing anybody in here to, you know, to really do your own due diligence on the person you're doing business with. But uh, what I what I don't see from some of the big meetings is a lot of people saying, "Hey, here's what I do. What do you do? If I see something coming your way that fits your needs, when I'll, I'll send it your way. Maybe we can joint venture on it." I mean, that's what I, I do. And you know, harness each other's strengths. I think that's uh, a lot of smaller group and networking is great for them. So, uh, you know, of course we have some motivation stuff, we have some education stuff, and um, I think the third seminar is the, is the people in the room to help each other out. Is that, is that fair? Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So can uh, continue, and I'm sure, I'm sure I'll be able to talk to someone. Yeah, I'll have to cut off that day. Um, all right, well, that was, that was neat to go around and hear where everybody's coming from. Um, a couple of the things that, that just made